Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a lining to a zip. Some of you may call that a zipper. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. There are times when we need to sew uh, our lining to our zipper and in this particular example I've got the lining sewn to the zipper tape. It's an invisible zip it doesn't matter on which zip insertion you actually do apply this technique, the process is more or less the same. Here's my pretend garment and in this example I've actually done a centred zip insertion. You must always make sure you do your zip insertion before applying your lining. And it's just a regular zip insertion of a centred seam. Here we have the lining which has a plain open seam, it has the length of the actual zip, zipper but I've actually made it about a centimetre longer, that just allows the slider to go up and down without it actually getting caught in the lining. Before I actually show you how to sew the lining to the garment we need to pin first. I'm working on the wrong side of my garment and I'm placing the wrong side of the lining onto the wrong side of the garment. Now this is the area in which the lining has to be sewn onto the seam and there isn't much as you can see there of a seam allowance and that is because of the type of zip insertion I've gone for. So we've got a seam line in the actual lining and we're going to match that up against the stitching line as much as we can and then we're going to pin through the lining, the zipper and the seam allowance. I'm just going to go all the way down. So pinning through all thicknesses and we'll stop about there. So there we have it. I'm working on the wrong side of the garment and I'm working on the actual seam allowance of the garment and the zip tape is in between there if I can just give you a little peep there it is and here's the lining and it's a very narrow space in which you've actually got to work in order to catch the actual zipper tape so make sure that this line here is actually the seam line in which the zip insertion was actually sewn to so we need to make sure that we stay close to the line but do not stitch on it. Just take your time and it, it may also be easier to make sure you do catch the zipper tape to actually baste. But if not then just make sure you go slowly because you want to make sure you don't stitch anywhere over this seam line. Pull your pins out as you go. Make sure that I'm not stitching onto. Check your work now and again just to make sure that you're not sewing the garment. Pull your pins out and then I've just passed the end of the zipper. So I'm now going to secure my stitching. And I would actually recommend that you actually use your zipper foot as well. So you should see a nice seam line along there. And hopefully, here we go, yeah, it hasn't come through onto the right side of the garment. And if I just show you the actual tape, zipper tape has it's just about caught it. Here we have it completed, the lining sewn to the zipper. Um, you can see some white thread there, but if you're using your fab fashion fabric, obviously you'll find the right um, match to your actual fabric. But you will get um, a, a stitching line along there. That's because, if I just can recap and show you what we did, or what I did, is that I sewn a stitch line all the way the length of the zip, and I made sure that I didn't stitch on this line here, which is a stitch line on the right side of the garment for this lapped um, centered zip. 
is a centre zip. So I just need to actually say that depending on which zip insertion you will have, you'd have more zip tape in which to sew onto. I've used a centred um, zip insertion here for a lapped one side you'll, you'll have a bit more tape on the other side you won't and you'll obviously have a lot more zip um, tape to work with if you're working with an invisible zip so that is what it looks like so I'll just show you the front on the zip and there we have it I hope you found that video tutorial helpful if you have any comments or questions please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.